vendor beware. When you sign a mandate with an agency to sell your property, there are three important points to verify before signing that mandate. First off, probably the most important, but far from being the, the only thing, is the price. Uh, in the sense, obviously, you know what your price is, you're going to be asking for the house, but make sure that on the mandate, how the price is stipulated, and make sure what we call the net vendor is your fees. Some, some agencies work from fees down to the vendor, so they actually include those fees into the price of your net sales price. Uh, other agencies, it's more standard practice, they add their fees on top of your net sales price, so make sure you actually check that. Secondly, you need to check the nature of the mandate, in the sense you make sure you know whether it is a what we call a Monda sample or an open mandate, or a Monda exclusive, which is a sole agency agreement. If you sign in a sole agency agreement, you are bound to that agency. If you are signing an open mandate, you can put it on the market with different agents, etc. So make sure that is clear. Word of warning there is that certain agencies like to change the name of the exclusive mandate because they seem to think it makes the pill easier to swallow. Um, this can have problems later in the sense that if you sign an exclusive mandate with one agency and have it on with other agencies, if one of the other agencies actually sells the property, the other agency can come back against you to claim their fees for rupture of contract. So be careful that one. And like I said, unfortunately, there are a few agents who will try and get you to sign an ex exclusive mandate uh, without you knowing. Don't get me wrong, exclusive mandates can be very good. Just make sure you know you're signing one, that's all. And the third point is the duration of the mandate. Uh, generally, most mandates are valid for 12 months, uh, but the part I'm talking about is the initial engagement. Uh, in the sense of uh, standard practice is if you sign a mandate, initial engagement is three months. Then after that, that carries on by what they call tacit reconduction. So it automatically carries on and they'll carry on marketing the property as normal. The thing you need to be careful of though is actually the renewal date, as in three months, how do they want to treat that? Sometimes they'll actually say to you, uh, the automatic carries on, if you want to cancel the mandate, it has to be for the anniversary of that, as in two weeks beforehand, because uh, you have to give them two weeks notice to cancel the mandate, so you have to send it off to two and a half months, or more open agencies are actually saying, well, as long as the three months are over, let us know at any point after that, but make sure you know how it is. So three main points, as I was saying, is A, the price, B, whether it's an open mandate or an exclusive mandate, and C, the actual duration involved before you can actually cancel that mandate if you wish to. Well, there you go, quick summary of the three main points. Speak to you soon.